Oh uh, man, just staying ready. You know, uh, trying to get busy, trying to uh, get the right fight. Uh, looking at the uh, Benavidez versus Andretti on the card. You know, uh, this is my first time in my career at the, you know, since my stabbing, since uh, not with a promoter. So, you know, it's a different last minute calls, you know, fight opportunities coming. So, you know, it's, it's exactly what I need to uh, go and upset one of these uh, promoters' fighters. That's Wait, what so it, there's a possibility you could be on the Demetrius Andrade card? The Benavides on the card, yeah. They called me for an opponent, uh, a welterweight dude, uh, I think 14 and 1, 14 and 2. I said, yeah, so I don't know. They didn't give me a name, but I just let them know, like, I'll be ready. For sure. Well, speaking of getting ready, you standing in front of a Shakur Stevenson picture, and that's oh, yeah. somebody who's been sparring. Yeah, sir. He's getting ready for a big fight with Edwin De Los Santos. How was that experience? Because you're a southpaw, natural southpaw, in yeah. crazy shape. I mean, Shakur, a uh, good fighter. I've been in there with Pacquiao, I've been in there with Mayweather, so. Top elite guys, uh, you know, I was able to uh, do my thing in there, you know. So I'm bigger than him, but he a great, great talent, and uh, definitely I see him winning that fight. Speaking of being bigger than him, can you see him filling out to welterweight in the future? Oh, definitely, definitely. He's still young, he's still growing, so I can see him, uh, you know, 28 when he 28, 29, touching welterweight. And you think his power carries to welterweight as well? I mean, the heavier you are, if you know how to punch, you know how to transition weight, it's going to transition. So, But he definitely got the skills, the IQ, to uh, to be like Floyd in the welterweight division, pick fighters apart. Speaking of IQ, how was it in, in, in sparring? And I don't mean Vito, I mean, you know, they say he's such a high level boxer, so it's not a lot of punches being thrown because it's more a thinking man's game. Yeah, it was like a chess match, me and him in there. So, you know, it was definitely a uh, solid work. And uh, they ended up saying I'm, you know, a little too big, but, you know, which makes sense. But uh, it was it was definitely, uh, he's smart, he's smart. He reminded me of Floyd, just a southpaw, you know? So uh, me being, doing so many rounds with high level fighters, you know, I'm able to always hold my own with anybody. So, what's next for you? I mean, obviously, Benavidez Andrade, if that doesn't work, I know you went all the way around the world to get a fight, so like, yeah. is there anything else possibly cooking? I mean, you know, 2020, I got stabbed 14 times. Was out of the boxing uh, ring for about three years. Had two comeback fights. Uh, yeah, I had to go to Korea on the Pacquiao undercard. Got a, a decision, unanimous, and uh, I'm basically just ready, getting ready for whoever. You know, I, I want to fight. You know, somebody that nobody want to fight, and uh, beat them. You know, that's how that's how I got to do it in my career right now, where I'm at. You know, with my age, you know, I feel 21, and I look in my 20s. So, uh, just to get your prediction, you're picking Shakur to beat De Los Santos. Yeah, definitely. I see a shutout. Uh, definitely, even uh, I can see Shakur because he he's slick, you know, hitting him with something he don't see and, and hurting him. So. Well, you're welterweight. Terrence Crawford's been a hot button topic. Do you think Crawford could really move up to 168 and beat Canelo? He could definitely move up, beating Canelo. I mean, it's all about how he performed that night, but he definitely got the skill set, you know, and the defense to, you know, compete with Canelo. I don't know, I don't know about winning, but it's a possibility. For sure, Chan, I'm gonna let you get back to work, man. Keep doing your thing. Yes, sir. Let everybody know where they can find you. Yeah, follow me on Instagram at Maurice Victorious Lee. Shout out YouTube family. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.